I'm Gabriella. And I'm Michael. And this is Gridiron Talks. Episode 16 of Gridiron Talks, a very sad one. We use that all the time now. Sad one. Yeah. But we're going to get into it with game recap. Alright, when the Bears recorded an impressive victory Thanksgiving night in Green Bay, they hoped it would catapult them onto bigger and bigger things down the stretch. Instead, they're now 0-3 since that magical night at Lambeau Field, bottoming out with a lackluster 38-17 loss to the Vikings Sunday at TCF Bank Stadium. In, a, in falling a season low four games under 500, the Bears continue to commit the same mistakes that have plagued them much of the year. Offensively, they allowed a season-high five sacks, including one on each of their first three possessions, turned the ball over twice, and committed costly penalties. Defensively, the Bears permitted the Vikings to score touchdowns on all four of their red zone possessions and convert eight of 12 third down opportunities. The Bears twice cut the deficit to 14 points as Robbie Gold's 51-yard field goal made it 24-10 and Cutler's four-yard TD pass to Forte closed it to 31-17, but they failed to get any closer. Vikings QB Teddy Bridgewater produced the final points with a three with a four-yard TD pass to fullback Zach Line with a minute and 50 seconds remaining. Sunday's loss officially eliminated the Bears from playoff contention and ensured them of having back-to-back -back losing seasons for the first time since 2003 and 2004 season. They now have lost nine consecutive December games dating back to 2013. So... Uh, terrible. Terrible. Nothing came... <laughs> nothing was good with that game recap. Except... For Robbie Gold, you know, Robbie Gold he's came back. Up. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, other than that, that's that's pretty much it. There is no Bears news this week. The only Bears news you need is that the Bears lost. Mm -hmm. But moving on to around the league news, Charles Woodson, the veteran safety, announced his retirement yesterday. So he's had an outstanding career. Definitely. The Bengals, Seahawks, and Packers all clinch playoff spots. The Patriots clinched first round bye with Denver's loss. The Cardinals clinched the NFC West title. Arizona wins its first division title since 2009. Odell Beckham Jr. suspended one game following Sunday's actions versus the Panthers. And I just want to say something about that. He is appealing that, so. And we do have a video, so check that out. I think so. Here is second and 15 handoff is to Vereen, able to stay upright. And picks up a first down, and there's Beckham again. What is going on? Have you seen a guy this thrown off his game before? They ought to throw him out of the game, Joe, and they just might. I mean, he's out of control. Well, he's hurting his football team. He has. He hurt him dropping the ball, and now he's hurt him with, you know, multiple penalties already. We'll see what this flag is for. He came flying in at the end of that play. Yeah, and you know, Tom Coughlin, he's not normally a coach that tolerates this either, so I would expect him to take action too. And Norman is, well, they've been trying to calm him down each and every there time. Fouls on each team. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 13. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense number 24. The penalty's offset at the dead ball spot. First down. So it's called against both, and Norman is trying to get calmed down. Watch the end of this play. That's not it. It's here. And they go head to head, and then Norman gets in with a knee into the head of Odell Beckham. Well, it's a, it, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing for Odell Beckham. It's embarrassing oh. for the Giants. There's a shot. I mean, Josh Norman has owned him in this game, and when he hasn't been on him, someone else has. They haven't gotten him the football. Amari Cooper becomes the first Oakland Raider receiver in 11 years. That's right, 11 years to surpass the 1,000 receiving yard mark. Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota suffered a sprained MCL on Sunday and will be out for the rest of the season. I know he was in talks for that rookie of the year, but, you know, he'll come back next year stronger. My highlight of the week this week is Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers. On second and eight. Good protection. Rivers taking a deep shot from Malcolm Floyd. And it's intercepted. Rashad Jones on the pick. And he's got some room to run. Jones cuts back at the 30. Jones in midfield lost the football. Ball is loose. And look. River 
Rivers falls on it. How do you like that? <laughs> oh, and it'll be first down as well. For my bear of the week, tough week, but I figured out who it's going to be. It's going to go to Willie Young. He is the third Bears player to record a sack in five straight games, joining Brian Urlacher and Steve McMichael. So he's in great company for sure. So keep on fishing, Willie. Yes, just exactly. Like, just like Michael showed you that. <laughs> the Bears play the Buccaneers yes. on Sunday, their second to last game at noon in Tampa Bay. So maybe they can pull out a win for us so we have a It's little... technically the Bears versus the Bears. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, New Bears versus old Bears, exactly. kind of. So that's it for us. I'm Michael. I'm Gabriella. And go Bears. <laughs>